Hello, and welcome back to the experiment. This week's essay is titled, Didn't Think I'd Get Here. It was written on the 26th of the 2nd, 2023 at 6.42 p.m. Content warnings include a discussion of an abusive relationship. This is an essay about hope. I can't remember the moment that I gave up on the degree I wanted. That's normal, I suppose. We don't tend to give up on things in single moments. Hope dies the same way a candle dies. I have an unlisted video on this channel that is a 58 minute recording of a nearly spent candle refusing to go out. I was trying to capture the moment when it died, but my phone ran out of battery first. Then, when I wasn't paying attention, the candle had sputtered out. When I was in my senior year of high school, I wanted to do a Bachelor of Arts and then do a Master's in Secondary Education. I wanted to be a teacher. Unfortunately, the arts degree I wanted wasn't easy to get into, and I had three things working against me. It was 2020, so COVID. I was starting to realize I was transgender, and so that was start shattering my self-esteem. And most significantly, I was in an abusive relationship. If you want just a taste of what that relationship was like, play my game While I'm Still Your Eyes on my itch.io page, link in the down there part. But honestly, it's not important. The bottom line is that study during that year became an almost impossibility, and my grades got worse and worse. Then one day, you look over at the candle, and it's gone out while you weren't looking. I gave up on that degree. Once I gave up on the degree, there was no point in even pretending to care anymore. I remember turning up to the final practice exam for chemistry and writing an essay about dark souls in the answer spaces instead. <laughs> then one day at my friend's house, their sibling tells me about the game design course at RMIT. No prerequisites or study score requirements, just a solid portfolio. I'd missed the application date, but that was a blessing in disguise because I could spend the next six months perfecting my portfolio and then apply for a mid-year intake. Not too long after this, I managed to break up with my abusive partner. It was the hardest thing I had ever done. Currently, it's second place, but I still can't really fathom how badly it hurt me. It all feels so ancient now, despite it only being two years ago, almost to the week. Time kept moving though, and the flame of this new hope was burning brightly especially now that it was not being suffocated for oxygen. I kept that flame, and I still keep it, very close to my chest. I've completed three of six semesters, and I start the fourth tomorrow. I was eating dinner with my mother before writing this, and I started crying when I said that I was excited for the semester to start. A little over six months ago, I experienced the worst series of weeks of my life. It was many times worse than breaking up with my ex, by a long shot. That flame nearly went out. I don't really want to talk about it, but it happened, and I've spent the last six months recovering. As I cried into my dinner earlier, and my mother struggled to understand why I was crying, I felt so happy. I didn't think I'd get here. I didn't think I'd get here six months ago, and I didn't know where here was two or three years ago. Hope dies the way that an unwatched candle dies. Hope lives the way a wood fire lives. Gives you warmth as long as you give it fuel. I need to say this again. I didn't think I'd get here. And now that I am, I plan to keep hoping and dreaming. Thank you. This essay was finished on the 26th of the 2nd, 2023 at 10.07 p.m. I should mention that since I'm going into another semester at university, it might affect uploads. I'm really, really hoping that I can keep up the weekly videos, and I think perhaps being in the academic environment might actually help rather than hinder, because I think I'll have more to talk about, but there's a, prob there's a possibility that it could mean less uploads. Um, I'll really hate it if that happens, so let's just pretend it won't. <laughs>